Good afternoon, Jennifer. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Jennifer, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Jennifer Delda, 34 years old from Nabaldinera, Malaiti. I'm a single mom of nine-year-old boy. Okay, mm. I, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start, okay? Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid because I want to earn more money for the future of my son. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other countries? I choose Malaysia because I know uh, Filipino and Malaysian have similarities. How are you qualified for this job? Um, I think I'm, I'm a hardworking, loyal and honest. May I know what your education level is? Um, I... I I am a college level mom. You are? I'm a I'm a college level mom. Undergraduate, graduate. Undergraduate mom. Okay. What is your recent working experience? My recent working experience is in Manila. I work as a old seater of an of eighty two years old. Man. Okay. Have you worked abroad before? Yes, ma'am. Which country? Singapore, ma'am. Okay. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? I do have experience of taking care of baby, ma'am, on my own or of my own son. Okay. How about elderly? I have experience experience of taking care of elderly before and current. Okay, do you have any other special skills? Uh, I don't have any special skills. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am, I am willing to learn. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. I am willing to work with the family. Currently, yeah. are you still working now? Um, yes, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? I know how to cook some Filipino food and Chinese food, ma'am. How about other dishes like European food, Indian food, and Malay food? I don't know how to cook. Uh, Malaysian European mom that I am willing to learn. From okay, are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, mom, I do aware of that. From all the house chores like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Uh, I, well, I do cooking, mom. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? If my my mom my mother mom you are not allowed to use handphone during working hours yes ma'am you are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed yes ma'am you are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed yes ma'am if ever your employer finds out that you're abusing, abusing your handphone and it's affecting your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years contract, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Um, I am a hardworking man, a lawyer and honest. Can, how can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Uh, 
I will do my best and working hard so that my employer will like me. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? Oh, sorry, no, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? Uh, I, I, I undergone operation last 10 years ago. What is that? Under cesarean section. Cesarean, cesarean section. section. Okay. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, but I don't eat beef. Beef, okay. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Uh, yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Jennifer, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully, okay? Okay, Pa. Upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will ask my boss if he or she allow me to go. If not, I will not force them. Okay, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I'm Jennifer Delda, 34 years old, from number Dileran Leite. I'm a single mom, I'm one years old boy. I work in Malaysia um, to earn more money for the future of my son. Okay, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Um, uh, other ma madam or sir, good morning. Um, if you choose me as a house worker, I will do my best and follow your rules and regulations in your house. And I will. Okay, that's all. Okay, thank you very much, Jennifer. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Thank you, Pa.